uh, Eugene O'Neill. Eugene O'Neill is uh, likely the best published playwright going. I mean, if you go to Igmar Bergman for film and consider him a playwright, I would put Bergman above O'Neill, but uh, if I do, very slightly. Uh, the interview is another one of these, like her Milbay, not to harp on this on and on and on, but where it is, Containingly more about the biography than the plays themselves. The most interesting comments are ones by you, where you're speaking about how Eugene O'Neill would take things from the Greeks and make them far better and more modern. Uh, and he was someone. One one of the things that we should talk about. I don't want again. I don't want to harp on on what we've been speaking about. How these academics make it all historical information rather than art. So one of the things that they mention is that some of his plays are unfilmable. And I spoke about this with Alex Sherman in terms of if we were ever to go to plays or you were to go to plays, it doesn't have to be uh, filmable or stageable or what have you. Uh, it It's a play is exactly what its name implies. It's just, it doesn't need to require only dialogue. It doesn't have to conform to any standard. And Eugene O'Neill was so ahead of the curve that way where he was making these almost introspective dialogues and really getting into the meat of not just the, the individual characters, but also the stager, the, the playwright himself, uh, whoever that assumes to be. It's very metaphysical in a way, some of his stuff. Um, talk about that. Talk about how ahead of the curve Eugene O'Neill and also the, uh, the interviews themselves and whatever you may think of value they've stated. Well, I'm going to talk about O'Neill, Kubrick, and the Serling interviews together, because that's a run of three straight interviews where arguably... Brilliant, brilliant interviews. Right. Arguably have the three people in American history who are the tops at their game at that time. Um, you have uh, O'Neill, who's probably the top stage playwright. And I, I would have to disagree... I don't think I would put Bergman above O'Neill. O'Neill came first. O'Neill was, uh, if you look at just, you can't really compare screenplay to stage play um, because there are the added elements of the visual and, and music that a stage play doesn't have to have and, and those kinds of directions and whatnot. But uh, Kubrick, who's uh, arguably the greatest American filmmaker, you can go back and forth with him and Wells. And then Serling who is probably the greatest television screenwriter in the history of American uh, television. Uh, uh, the the, the O'Neill one, I mean, uh, like I said, O'Neill, in a sense, did so much, and he's so all across the board, in a good sense, with uh, his stage plays, that there's really no doubt that uh, Amer modern American theater begins with O'Neill, 